Hello, my friends. Today I'm going to try an abstract flower painting using a hair dryer along the lines of the iris pores I did a while back. You may have seen that series. If not, I will link it up above. Here's one of them. And even though I'm not a pink fan for wearing, I think in this painting it's really beautiful. I'm very happy with this. And from this, I had some clothing made on my website. This is a tank top and I think it is so cute. And there's the price. No tax, no shipping charges. Um, I, don't, I don't make, I make less than nine dollars on them, but uh, I still think that's a decent price for a one-of-a-kind shirt you're not going to find anywhere else. And there's all sorts of pieces in this pattern and many others if you'd like to take a look. The link is down below. But I do like, I like the looks of that uh, design. So I'm going to do one in oranges because that is a color I will wear, I love. So that's today's palette. I'm using Vermilion by Creative Inspirations. I'll put the recipe down below. It's very simple. Cad Yellow Deep by Soho. Pearl Papaya Orange, Arteza. It's a little bit of a metallic there. Lovely. Pearl Pistachio Green, Arteza. Love this color. Alizarin Crimson, Liquitex Basics. And lastly, one custom color, um, Sap Green by Soho, to which I add a little metallic black to come up with a darker green. Just a little darker than that was. And those are my colors. And the base coat's gonna just be white. And I don't have any of those larger canvases left, so I'm just going small with it, because I haven't done one in quite a while. And um, so I'm gonna use my small hair dryer on this as well. So let's give it a go. I just mixed this paint, so it's got a lot of bubbles in it, um, the white. So I'm going to use my torch to pop them. You. You're welcome. <laughs> Hopefully I have enough uh, paint here. If I like this combo, I, I'll probably go big on it because I can get a better picture for um, fabric on a larger piece, I think. I'm not sure that's true, but <laughs> that's my thinking. And I like the appearance of the bigger piece as well. Okay, well I have enough paint, that's good. Oops, I'm stuck. What am I stuck on? Oh, the tape. <laughs> If I were doing a bigger one, I would um, do this part off camera and scrape up the excess, but because it was small, I will go, go ahead and show you. And I can remove my gloves because the rest of it is just done with a hairdryer. Just missed an edge, missed a corner there. Make sure my edges are covered well. And maybe here be this corner needs a little help right there. Actually I liked it. I like to scrape, and I am going to do it, I like to scrape up the um, drippings in case I need to touch up an area. So I 
to do that. Get most of it anyway. See, this is why I do <laughs> I do this off camera. You don't need to watch me do this. But I'm nearly done. Won't get every drop, but a good amount of it. Okay. I probably got a good two ounces there that I can work with if necessary. If not, I'll just add it to the next one. Okay. So here we go now. It's been a long time since I've done any of these. Um, I'm going to do, it's kind of based on an iris flower, but um, it's definitely abstract. So, it, you know, I'm not attempting to make it look realistic. It's just inspired by, by that. So um, I'm going to go deep orange for the lower petals, and I usually do three. So, center one and a couple on either side. I'm going to add a little bit of this alizarin crimson. and then a little bit lighter. We'll just kind of drizzle some of this metallic on there. Um, now the top petals will be the lighter. Just do a couple of those. In this warm, or cat yellow deep rather. It does not make that color look very pretty. <laughs> the pearl papaya, but it is a gorgeous color. I think, hopefully, when it blows out, it will be pretty. But I'll, I'll maybe I'll make this the main color. And put a little bit of this as well to kind of marry the top and the bottom. And now in the center, the flower is, I think I'll start with the green. This is for contrast. Just kind of dab that in there. And the lighter green. That I'm gonna kind of drizzle into the petals as well. A little bit of that is not a bad idea. Hopefully. I know it doesn't look like much now, but <laughs> the magic hopefully will happen. So that's the center. I think I'm gonna add a little more dark green. Okay, I think that's sufficient amount on this small canvas, so let's try it and see. Got my little hair dryer, and I'll just try it on low and see if that's enough to move the paint around. I'll have to start with the middle one. I kind of grab some of the center and come this way. And one out here. And there. Oh, isn't 
that pretty. Okay, now my pedal's up there. done. Am I done? Usually when I do a Dutch pour, I like to bring my skewer and do a little curly cues, but on a f something that I want to represent a flower, I'm not bothered by the way they look like petals because that's what I want. I really like this color, this appearance here. Oh, look at those cute little white cells in there. That's sweet. Um, but it's pretty white over here and here. But it's so scary to add color and go back. Hmm. Do I dare? This one isn't too bad, but this one has a lot of white. I'm going to do it, my friends. It's just a small canvas. So it's this color. Maybe even a touch of this. I like the way this color looks right there. Just for a little interest. Okay. I'm going to try to avoid the, the center and just grab it from this point on. So, fingers crossed. that one. Do I need to do that one too? I am a little bothered by this section right here. I like the separation there. And this is where my scrapings come in handy. I don't know that I bothered enough to uh, do anything with that. I think I'm going to do that same treatment over here. A little of this. Uh, where did I put this? On the top or the bottom? I think at the bottom. And the deep, the alizarin crimson on the top, I'm sure. sure about that if I want to try to now nah. maybe when I blow this out it'll cover that anyway and I won't it won't be a problem I can fix it later if I must and here we go so um, <laughs> I'm starting from up high and then bringing it down so I can see when it starts to move and control the speed with which it blows out. It's pretty close. Okay. Um, 
I think I'm okay with this. Yeah, I think it's fun. I, I love the colors. I'm very happy with the colors. Let me turn around and show you the orientation I am seeing it in. Pretty. look. Look at the red and green there together. Isn't that fun? I don't mind those little, little sprinkling of white cells there. Love the orange and yellow and the green with the hint of green in there. It's pretty. I think I'm happy with it, my friends. If I do this again, I would I think I'd blow it out a little differently. But maybe by adding more paint to begin with, the first go round, I wouldn't have to go back in because that does change things up considerably. But uh, it's not bad for the first one I've done in many moons. <laughs> well, thanks for watching, my friends. See you next time.